The world's largest wood type printing collection is on the move. The Hamilton Wood Type and Printing Museum in Two Rivers is in the process of relocating. We first brought you the story last fall. The museum uh, was told it had to vacate its original home at the Thermo Fisher plant, which was closing at the time. But as Fox 11's Beth Jones tells us, employees have high hopes for the new location. Moving trucks are filling up as crews pack up printing equipment that put its mark on American history. From the 1.5 million pieces of wood type to the shrink-wrapped displays, it all has to go. And it'll soon call the former Form Wright plant its home along the lakeshore. Every weekend, a new group of people comes in to help us out. A lot of those are very familiar to the museum, so they are a huge help. And then a number of people have sort of emerged as well, people who used to work at Hamilton. So it's, it's gone well, but it's a huge task. In addition to the miles of shrink wrap they had to order, museum officials say they'll need at least 25 of these semi-trailers to haul all the items from the old location to the new location across town. Employees expect it'll take at least another week to move everything in and months to reorganize it. The Wood Type Museum is the final tenant to leave the Thermo Fisher grounds. So once everything is cleared out, the entire 1.2 million square foot complex will be vacant. It was a body blow to Two Rivers to lose this employer. By the same token, we think it's a phenomenal redevelopment site. City manager Greg Buckley says Thermo Fisher is considering tearing down the buildings on the property, which would leave around 12 acres of riverfront real estate. However, Buckley says it'll be at least a few more months before any actual plans are in place. While the city works that out, those at the museum will continue their own transition. Despite the work ahead, employees are happy to continue to call Two Rivers home. Printing history is American history, so it goes deeper than that. And I think that's why we've gotten such great support from across the globe, because people realize that it's far more than simply about uh, a company in a small town in Wisconsin making wood type. Moran hopes to reopen the museum by August. Into Rivers, Beth Jones, Fox 11 News. Companies from across the U.S. raised money to help cover the cost to purchase the new facility, and around $200,000 in donations have come in to help cover the moving costs.